Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Near Replicant, my name is Oz. So today we are going to go ask Popola some questions. Let's see if she can help us a little bit. In the last episode we got a glimpse at what we're going to be doing today and that is a ton of reading. Oh, I wonder if that's what my mom was like. Yeah, there we go. Glad that one showed up again. That was a particularly important one. Popla, what's up? Need your help. Hmm. What's up, Popla? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Dearest Popla, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in Dream the Village. I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently, there have been dream reports dream dream of a certain dream 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 of dream 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 evil dream 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 empty dream curse dream 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 evil dream. Dream, 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 words, dream, 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 and dream, 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 dream. someone, dream, 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 dream. Wow. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. Okay. As you may remember, we had a weird dream last night. So let's see the conclusion. Also, let's check out her hobby corner. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we got some, some additions. What's up with this? Let's look at the top shelf. It's that lizard thing we fought in the airy. Who would make a figure of that anyway? And what is it doing here? Hmm. One wonders. Let's look at the top shelf. This is from the junk heap. For a decoration, it's certainly in poor taste. So the name of that thing is actually a defense system Geppetto in reference to Pinocchio. Yeah. Let's look at the middle shelf. We saw this cube back in the Baron Temple. Perhaps the Prince of Facade gave it to Popola as a gift? These things were a very standard enemy in the aerial missions of Dragonguard. Fun times. Well. Popola's collection definitely seems to be growing at a steady pace. That's good. Good for her. So, let's go to the Forest of Myth and see what's up. To be honest, I have been having a bit of a hard time recording this game. And I have had a lot of trouble pinpointing why. And in the end, I believe it's due to a whole amalgamation of reasons. Nier came back. He came back home to see me. Yay! Nice. And I was thinking that I know quite a bit a lot about this game. There are quite a lot of things that I could be saying. However, I also feel like I am holding back a lot because the game hasn't really had the opportunity to explain itself at all. So I don't want to get ahead of the game. Ah, we have to do something here, something really dickish. Uh, orders, animal, call. So look at the map, look at everything just converging at us. You know what I'm gonna do here, right? <laughs> you know where this is going. So let's do that again. Come on, everybody. 
No, 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 you need, you, no, not you, boar. You actually need to be, or no, maybe this is a good angle. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, somebody's dying first. There you go. So, yeah, if you don't see where this is going, I don't know. I don't know what's up with you. But yeah, let's... Whoa. More in this direction. There you go. Nice. I don't even think we have enough time to harvest all of this, but, you know. At this point, I'm just proving a point. I'm doing it because I can. So... <laughs> I have been thinking and it's like, there are a lot of things that I could be saying about the game, but more than that, there are a lot of things that the game will say, but hasn't said yet. So I find myself in this weird position where it's like, I want to respect the rhythm of the game, because one of the things that I believe Nier and Dragonguard 2 do very well is that they give you enough time that you are able to really immerse yourself in the world before it really starts working up the themes that it has. Oh, Royal Fern. This is a beauty on episodes too late, but remember that quest that we, we got for Royal Fern? One of the first quests in the game, actually. This is probably the second Royal Fern I have found in the 13-something hours I've played this game. So yeah, just buy it from Seafront or whatever it was. But... So yeah, and it's... There are a lot of things that I want to say, and there is a lot of things that the game still wants to say, but I find myself in this space where it's too early. I can't really comment on much because the game hasn't really said much yet. It's all set up. And... I really like this up to a point. I really enjoyed that the game is taking its time to really let us experience the world and see, really get immersed in the experience, see all of the villages, talk to everybody, do some quests that are very inane maybe, but also interesting. Like they, there's a lot of world building in this part of the game. And I really appreciate it. And I hope that I can do some of the quests of screen and that I can show them to you. But I am also really looking forward to just getting to the meat of the game because there's a lot to see and there's a lot to talk about. But I feel like if I just started talking philosophy now, it would perhaps be to the detriment of the overall experience. So I've been trying to hold back on that impulse. However, it is a very conscious holding back. It is a very conscious thought that I, I'm always like, I should not be talking about X or Y right now. And I feel like I've been stifled a lot by this very cognizant decision. And yeah, it's, it's a, a little bit weird. So recording this game has actually been much more difficult than I expected. Like looking back, I had a much easier time recording Drakengard, which is weird. Because this game is enjoyable and I like it. Like there's nothing really wrong with this game, especially this version. While Drakengard was a massive thing to play. But it was... I still feel like I enjoyed the recording sessions for Drakengard more than I am enjoying this, which is odd. But yeah. Oh, oh, so they do take damage from the sun. That's pretty cool. That one just evaporated. What's up, Kinda? Don't be a... How do I say this again? How Don't say a... Uh, words. See, that's what I mean. I'm having trouble with words much more than I would usually. It's pretty weird. Kill stealer. There we go. Remember it. Don't be a kill stealer, kinda. So, let's see what's up with this. Let's go north. 
I wonder what's in store for us here. It sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way, I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. That is extremely true. That is also one of the things that I've noticed about playing this game. And something that I have not been doing for my great detriment. I feel like Sometimes I get myself in a very negative headspace before starting recording and I expect the recording to fix it Which is weird. You, I should not be doing that So I actually I actively tried to go search for like good news and Things that would make me a little bit that would uplift me a little bit before I started this recording. So I hope it goes well So Let's see. Let's talk to this fella What do you mean? Contagious words. Those who dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. Why is voice rose in a quimsical way? It is not quizzical. What's going on? The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. The mayor stared at Nier and Wise. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? The mayor explained. In the past weeks, a mysterious disease called the Death Dream had spread across this forest of myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the Death Dream was spread from person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Why stared at the mayor? his mouth twitching slightly. Now see here, are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes, I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm your suspicion, Wise exploded with rage. Ridiculous, preposterous! Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. The mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Nier had seen and what they had discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Nier and Vise racked their brains but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. The mere suggestion that Wise chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. <laughs> it has demolished it utterly. <laughs> Irritated, Wise looks skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. 
The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Nier like a contagion. Wait, said Nier suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, that villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing a startled wise aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words. What was it? It was about dreaming, or something that dreams, or what the hell was it? A sheep, cried Vi suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head. <laughs> the others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Nier's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said. Those who dream, that's what he said, I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick shriek of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Nier. That sounds right, he said as a stray sheet of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes also mentioned something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his warm pencil stub tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It is my job to protect people from whatever comes along. But I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, agreements crossing his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Vice immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said, but perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I would know about it. Pause for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It is like somebody took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Nier nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second, I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, said Nier, just ask. Now, hold on, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Wise. The Grimoire looked from near to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Wise face is always confident, thank you very much. Now see here, mayor, you told us that nothing can exist in this dream without your knowing of it. But yet, you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said, you're right. You're right! I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Vice, and dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as you to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He had almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two. He called it the departing forms of Nier and Vice. We are all counting on you. As Nier slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, but... But where?